morning, gentlemen. Good morning, we are moving on to comparing decimals and rounding. So we're still continuing on with 3a. Uh, so these are the things we need to do before we start adding and subtracting. So do we remember the place value notation of decimals? Yes. Good. Now we're going to compare decimals. So basically we're going to find which one is bigger, which is smaller, less than, greater than, like we do with numbers. So the rule is we compare the whole number part first. So for example, 5.23 and 4.39, what's the whole number part? Five. What's the whole number part? Four. So clearly this is bigger. Does that make sense? So if the whole number part is clear, that's fine. You can just, you don't even have to look at the tenths or the hundredths or the thousands. Is that clear? Can we have a visitor? No. Now, what if the whole number parts are same? Can we see three point, how do I read this number? 3.17. Can I call it 3.17? No. no. And this is 3.012. So whole number parts, same. same, right? Now, some people have done this in the past. They think that's more digits, so this is clearly bigger. Is that right? No. no. Basically, this is three decimal places. I can make this three decimal places as well, isn't it? So the number of decimal places does not make a number bigger. Is that clear? Now, once we've compared the whole number parts, we look at the tenths. One and zero. Which one's bigger? One. Make sense? Next one. Whole number parts are same. Look at the tenths. Are tenths the same as well? Yeah. So you look at the hundredths. What's the hundredth part? One. Eight. Which is bigger? Eight. Making sense? Yeah. So we first look at the whole number part. We put our pen down and listen. Put our pen down and listen. Well done. Then we look at the tenth. Hundredths. Thousands. Clear? Yeah. Next one. Whole number part same? Yeah. Tenth part? Yeah. Hundredth part? Yeah. Then what do we do? Julian? Um, we add a zero to the number that's more. Yep. This is zero and this is four. 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 Which is bigger? Four. four. Easy? Yep. Next one. Zero and zero, whole number parts the same. Yeah. Tenths, Tens. same. Hundreds, same. Thousands, it has five and this has zero. So of course that is bigger. Are we happy with that? Yeah. Yes. Next one. Whole number part, same. Tenths, same. Hundreds, same. Thousands, same. Zero and two, which is bigger? Happy with that? Great. Next one. Rounding decimals. So basically, when we have to round, uh, like some numbers go on and on and on, right? Some decimals. We can't write all the decimal places. So we'll be asked to round decimal places a lot, especially when we're doing money problems. How many decimal places your money answers should be in? Two. Two. Don't you have like, you can have up to 99 cents? Yeah. So let's say you paid something for 5.99. So 5.99, all money answers can only have two decimal places. You will be asked to round a lot of other questions as well. So I'm going to tell you how to do rounding. So rounding decimals, put the cutoff mark. What that means is, Read the question. It says round to two decimal places. So what's your cutoff mark? Two decimal places. That means after the decimal, you can only have two. You can't have the third digit. Put the cutoff mark. Clear? Thank you. Then look at the digit after the cutoff mark. What's the digit after the cutoff mark? Seven. Seven. Now, if the digit after is 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, you round up the last digit. Now, what does rounding up means? You increase this by 1. So what would this become? 3.47. Now, do I put an equal sign? No. No. Stop doing that, please. You put approximately equal. That's what I use. I don't like putting equal sign between two numbers that aren't equal. This is an approximation of that. So basically 3.467 is closer to 3.47 on a number line than 3.46. Yep. Yep. That's what rounding is. Make sense? Yep. Yep. Now we're still rounding to two decimal places, so I'm going to put off my cutoff mark. So one, two. So once we put the cutoff mark, we look at the digit after the cutoff. Two. If the digit after the cutoff is 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, you leave last digit the same. 
So that means it will be approximately equal to 4.03. A sin that a lot of students do in senior classes is they round this down to 4.02. That never happens. We either keep the number same or move it up. We never round it down. Is that clear? Yes. So 4.032 uh, 4 is closer to 4.03 on the number line than 4.04, isn't it? Yes. Good. Running to two decimal places, eyes on the board. Cut-off mark. The digit after the cut-off is zero. Yes. So we leave the last digit as it is. So 2.60. Cut-off mark, two decimal places. This is a tricky one. So this is 6, so we round up the last digit. So 9 becomes 10. Yeah. How do I write 10? You put, a, like you have to go along the number line further, so you make it 5.30. Well done. So after 29, what's the next number? 30. So this will be closer to 5.30. So if this number is 9, and you're rounding it up, basically this will get up as well. So 29 next would be 30. Happy with that? Yes. Um, at the end, you don't need the zero. No, we do because we have to write it to two decimal oh. places. So it's important. I'm glad you said it. If a question says round to two decimal places, you have to write two decimal places. Even if it ends in zero. Is that clear? Yeah. Yes. yes. Great. Round to three decimal places. Oh. Just for the first. <laughs> make it a four decimal place number. Okay? So one, two, three. Cut off mark. The number here is greater than 5, so this will be rounded up. 